Hey everybody, what's up? This is Brian with Bear Cards 34. Going a little different direction today than my typical sports cards. Uh, looking today at Pro Set 1991 Superstars Music Cards. So this is kind of the peak of Pro Set's popularity. In addition to doing the football cards, they started doing everything from racing cards, movie cards, golf war cards, uh, and then these, which are just chock full of uh, popular musicians, singers from the day. So I purchased, and these are relatively cheap because, you know, they're uh, pro set, but this is Series 1, this is Series 2. I'll open Series 2 on a, on a later date, but uh, today we are going to go ahead and, and rip this box right here. Uh, we're looking for nostalgia purposes, at least I am, more than anything else. Um, I have seen some of these cards graded, actually going for a little bit of money. Uh, I don't think they have a lot of cards that have been graded. Uh, so anyway, we're going to go ahead and rip into that. But real quick, I'll just kind of show you, uh, because we're talking music here, uh, the person, the album that first got me into music when I was a kid was Michael Jackson's Thriller. This was This was it for me, and this is my old original cassette tape uh, that I had as a kid. So anyway, that was the, the album that started it all for me. Then I kind of veered off into Vanilla Ice and MC Hammerland until this guy back here, Kurt Cobain uh, and Nirvana, totally changed things up for me. Uh, my musical tastes completely changed after that time. I like a little bit of everything, uh, but those are you know, that's kind of where I had my little turn. So I mostly open uh, sports cards. I, I haven't really done much else. A few years back, though, back in 2015, uh, my local card shop was selling some uh, Panini Americana cards. And I picked up two boxes, because they were relatively cheap. And there were a few hits that I pulled. This is a Alexis Knapp, uh, 39 out of 99. I think her big thing was being in the Pitch Perfect movies. And in addition to that, uh, I got a uh, Joe Mangianello. I can't say his name. I've seen him in stuff, though. Uh, that one's numbered to 99. And then Laura Prepon. She's been in a, a handful of things. Orange is the New Black. Uh, that 70s show. Things like that. Uh, and then uh, Jill Wagner Auto. And then my favorite pickup was this, Sylvester Stallone. I was about to say jersey card, but basically this is a t-shirt. Uh, celebrity worn by Rambo. Very cool. All right, so anyway, that's all I've really done. I don't have a lot of experience with this stuff, and I won't be having a lot of experience with this stuff. But I uh, thought it might be fun to go back and, and kind of take a look at some of this. I looked up beforehand a little bit about this product and I really didn't find too much about it. I do remember getting advertisements for this. I was a member of the Pro Set, I don't know what you would call it, fan club or whatever, and they would advertise the heck out of this stuff. So we're looking at, this is the first ever series, and at the time they were looking for a rock and roll trip to London and other prizes. Uh, 10 cards per pack. We got MC Hammer right there, which would have been a huge pull for me back in the day. In fact, these came out right around the time that uh, my music changed uh, into the big uh, Nirvana 90s grunge type thing, which then opened it up for a lot of other things for me, like the Beatles and stuff afterwards. Okay, so very similar feel, obviously, to the 1990 and 1991 Pro Set football cards that I've opened many a time. Okay, so we're, we're going to go ahead and rip them all today. Uh, I think every single card we pull will be a rookie card. In fact, no numbered cards, no autographs, no variations, but you can get cards like Billy Idol. So, always a, pon a bonus. Uh, Taylor Dane, yeah, so I remember a lot of these people. Debbie Gibson, or as she later liked to be known as Deborah Gibson, when she was when you'd be taken a little more seriously. Uh, the Debbie Gibson story is nothing short of extraordinary. 
the singer songwriter multi instrumentalist very first single the self proclaimed uh, self penned only in my dreams 1987 was released when she was a mere 16 years old so each of these cards will have a little bit about them forbidden okay now this is a band that i do not remember whatsoever uh thrash death and heavy speed okay metal band maybe some of you guys know them the party another band that i i am not really familiar with Oh, now there's a big hit for us right here. Vanilla Ice Rookie Card. What's his name? Robert Van Winkle, I think. Ice, the white rap phenomenon, has really scored with his first album. First released on Ultrax Records as Hooked and sold 40,000 copies. So Ice Ice Baby obviously went on to become a huge song. Ozzy Osbourne. Nice. We've got Sting. Definitely like a handful of his songs and some of the stuff he did with the police. Annihilator. Another band I am not familiar with. Oop, Instant Win Rules. So here, here are the... Uh, here's the uh, Instant Win game. Free rock and roll trip. Free concert tickets. More than 10,000 great prizes. So you would just kind of scratch and win... Now let's take a look at this. What does this look like here? Sorry, try again. Now for the sake of both entertainment purposes and not wasting any of our times, I will not be scratching any more of those, but uh, that's kind of what you could look for. Ten cents off your next purchase of Superstars Music t-shirts. Ten whole cents. Man, they're not skimping out at all. That's awesome. They must not have known they were going to go bankrupt a couple years later. Paul Young in the pose. Okay. So that's what we can kind of expect from these, right? Um, you're not going to find anything major in here, but you might find, you know, just for entertainment purposes, nostalgia. It's pretty cool. Digital Underground. They had the Humpty Dance back in the day that I loved. Lord Tracy. Again, never heard of those guys. Ario Speedwagon, there we go. They had some hits. Europe. Rat. Thank goodness they made Rat's rookie card. In Excess, I loved these guys. The late Michael Hutchins. They had some excellent songs in the 80s and early 90s. Shy. Whoa, Crow Mags. Don't know this guy whatsoever. Harley Flanagan. All right. Then we've got a uh, Bonham. Dangerous Toys. What a great name. Except not really. All right. On to pack number three. All right. So for any of you guys watching this, this kind of let me know. Um, be curious, you know, if, if you're, especially if you're like a sports card collector who follows my channel, uh, you know, I, I, for those who know me in person, uh, know that along, in fact, also, <laughs> many people who know me in person don't even know I collect sports cards, but pretty much anybody who knows me knows that I love music. Hall and Oates, that's one of my wife's favorite bands. Another Debbie, Deborah Gibson. But I'd be curious what some of your guys' favorite bands are or were maybe back in the 90s, if you were around back then. Janet Jackson. Uh, and what, what kind of music you guys listen to? Annihilator. The Sisters of Mercy. Troop. Don't know those. All right. All right. Okay, here's our next pack. See if we can pull a Burrow or a Herbert. We've got a Morrissey. I heard he's kind of not the nicest guy. I don't know. Al, be sure. Nice. Cool Modi. I I used to I used to like his stuff. I don't even, I don't remember any of the songs, but Dino, maybe Dino, Dino. Uh, we've got a. Hot House Flowers, Hoth House, Hoth House Flowers, Hot House Flowers, I don't know. Bobby Brown, my prerogative. 
Tom Petty. Hey. The American treasure himself, Tom Petty. I loved Tom Petty. Love Tom Petty. Always love Tom Petty. All right. What does it say about him? Oh, okay. So this one has albums. You know, and they ha I think they had like a handful of cards for each person. And so this kind of gave a discography. Uh, other ones would kind of tell a little more personal stuff. Colin James with probably one of the worst photos. This blurry close-up of whatever that is. Heavy D and the Boys. The late Heavy D. Big Daddy Kane. And win in 10 more cents. All right. All right, I'll try to speed these up a little bit more now. Potentially. It's just kind of fun to look back. Okay, Richard Marks. We've got a Crosby, Stills, and Nash. Very cool. I got to see those guys in concert. That was pretty fun. Uh, Giant. Adam Adamski. The London Choir Boys. Man, a lot of big ones. Nelson! Rick Nelson's kids. Uh, cheap Trick. Got a Crimson Glory. Oh, nice. Love this band. The Doors. Historic Concerts. Now, is that a regular card? or Yeah, that's a regular card there. Historic Concerts. Back uh, February 5th and 6th, 1970. And a Michael... Bolton. I do not celebrate his entire catalog. But if you do, that is awesome. Okay, let's see here. Next up, we've got The Doors again. The Doors Legends. That's for sure, in my opinion. And then we've got a Led Zeppelin. Love Led Zeppelin. We've got a Hanoi Rocks, Huey Lewis, um, Law and Order, Tone Loke, loved a couple of his songs back in the day, Scorpion, Little Feet, Historic Concerts, for Big Brother and the Holding Company. You too. Some great songs. All right, next up. We've got a Jefferson Airplane Legends. And a Jimmy Page Led Zeppelin Legend. Death Angel. Very sweet. Santana, Belinda Carlisle, MC Hammer, my man, right there, loved MC Hammer. I, I remember having arguments with my dad over, you know, the Beatles and MC Hammer, and I tried to explain to my dad at the time that the reason he could say that the Beatles were better is because they had a whole career's worth of material to base it on, whereas MC Hammer only had one or two albums at the time. I think he had two albums at the time. Uh, that was my rationale, and I am not sticking with it. I was totally wrong. Doesn't mean I still don't like a couple of his songs when I hear him from time to time. But, uh, yeah, he's not the Beatles. Speaking of the Beatles, that's a good one for me right there. John Lennon. Jefferson Airplane Legends. Joe Satriani. We've got Kiss. One of my good friends, that's his favorite band of all time, so I always always think of him when I see them. Patti LaBelle, another Debbie Gibson. We've got Lynch Mob. I love these bands. They just, the names and the, the poses. Electric Boys. Historic Concerts of B.B. King. We've got a Belle Bev DeVoe. I love Belle Bev DeVoe. Their album, Poison, I still have it. I still listen to it. Awesome. Love that album. They taught me to never trust a big butt and a smile. And those are words to live by. Belle Bev DeVoe. All right, another Led Zeppelin. A Jimi Hendrix. He was great. Force MDs. I don't know those guys. The Pretenders, very nice. Vio 
lens. Hey guys, let's not be violence. Let's be vio lens with a dash. That sounds good. Nelson. Steel Heart. Another Aussie. Very nice. Bill Biv DeVoe again. Thank you very much, guys. Michael Bivens. So they were part of... Um, oh, crap. What was the band they were called? With Bobby Brown and all those guys. New edition. There we go. Biz Marquee. Holy cow. This video... This is taking a long time. This is a lot of cards. It didn't look like as many when I... When I opened, I'm used to getting all those retail boxes and hanger bag boxes, and that they look bigger than what they actually are. This one, not so much. This is this is chock full of cards. Kings of the Sun. Hey, we got a Madonna. That's a good rookie card right there. Oh, we got another Madonna. Another good rookie card right there. Occasionally, an artist emerges whose life and contributions appear to be larger than life. We got another Tone Loke. Fleetwood Mac, one of my all-time favorite bands. Another Debbie Gibson. We're going to have the whole Debbie Gibson set, I think. Historic Concerts. Muddy Waters. That'd be cool. Jimi Hendrix. All right. Yeah, so I don't think there are any, like, actual inserts uh, as far as, like, not a part of the numbered set. I don't think so, anyway. Uh, another Morrissey. Another Albie Shore. Hall & Oates again. There's another Debbie Gibson for us. Uh, Hot House or Hoth House Flowers again. Bobby Brown, Tom Petty, Annihilator, Bonham, Troop. Okay, so we've seen some of those guys. It's interesting to see like how many of these guys had any kind of a staying power, and uh, not a lot, right? So again, we're kind of seeing some some duplicates here. Yeah. All right. Okay. So the doors, Led Zeppelin, Giant, Adamski, Law and Order, Tone Loke. I feel like yeah. I feel like we've seen most of these. We can never see too many Michael Boltons. That hair is worth seeing twice. Okay. Jefferson Airplane again. Jimmy Page. Hanoi Rocks. Yeah, so I feel like, yeah, we're, we're seeing some major duplicates here. Which, when I was a kid, collecting cards, I always loved that. Because I always felt like I had to have the first one. Right, and then anything after that was uh, w was something I could potentially, when I got older, sell uh, or trade. But the first one I had to have to be mine to keep. So when I get duplicates, I I always thought, okay, cool, those are the ones that, if these ever go up in value, we can uh, uh, I can sell. Speaking of, if anybody wants to buy my Electric Boys rookie card, hit me up. Um, I'm not sure I can come down too much on it, but, you know, if it's something you want, let me know. Maybe we could work something out. Okay, Eric Clapton. The great legendary BB King. Force MDs. Chrissy Hind and the Pretenders again. Another Madonna. Tone Loke. Fleetwood Mac again, Ozzy Osbourne. So yeah, lots of duplicates here. Although I don't know if you guys saw my throwback video for my action packed. I opened some action packed cards and I got the same. I think I had, I don't remember how many packs I had. Not very many, and like half of them were all the same, the same pack. Oh, there's a nice one, Bob Marley. We've got Kings of the Sun again. Another Madonna. Perfect Gentleman. Another MC Hammer, but a new a new card of his. But Ah, George Michael. Okay, I was waiting for him to show up. So, those of you who have seen some of my older videos may know this, but the reason I got into sports cards was that I thought my brother gave me this 1987 Howie Long. It's the This exact card is the very first football card I ever owned. And I, th I was a big George Michael fan, and I thought Howie Long kind of looked like George Michael, 
so it made me like the card. And then I found out that Howie Long was really good, and then I liked the card even more. So the next year, when cards, when the next year of football cards came out, I bought a box, and then the rest is history. So it all kind of started there. So I was hoping I might pull a George Michael, and I, I thought I'd uh, tell that little story for those of you who hadn't already heard. Bill Bev DeVoe, Jimi Hendrix concert. Okay. Now, next up, we've got a Led Zeppelin, Doobie Brothers. Here's a new card. Eddie Money. Share. Young MC. I love Young MC. I could still to this day rap Young MC. Oh, yeah. LL Cool J, my all-time favorite rapper. I didn't know he was in this set, so that's really cool. Mama Said Knock You Out is my all-time favorite rap song. But Young MC, he had an album called Brainstorm. It, it didn't really, it wasn't really super popular. It was after he, he won his Grammy and everything, but Paula Abdul. But I loved, loved Young MC's Brainstorm. He had two songs on there, Keep Your Eyes on the Prize and That's the Way Love Goes, which are tattooed in my brain. I could, I'm not going to, because I have more pride than that, but I could rap every word of those still right now to this day. Ted Nugent, uh, Trouble. Tina Turner, another Tina Turner, got the Bullet Boys, Damn Yankees, all right, Pretty Boy Floyd, Roxette, she passed away like a year a year ago, sadly, but uh, yeah, they had, had some hits back in the day, okay, well, for those of you who are still here and sticking with me, thanks, I pre oh boy, this might win the whole, Dad, D-A-D, Dad. Wow. Originally known, known as Disneyland After Dark. They should have stuck to that. Even That's not great, but... Okay, The Doors. Uh, Lita Ford. Okay. Uh, Hunters and Collectors. <laughs> Tina Turner again. Uh, U2, Cher. 24-7 Spies. And a Dave Edmonds. I'm not sure who that is. All right. And to be honest, I probably never will know. Heart. I saw uh, one of the sisters, her, in concert. She only sang one song of Hearts. The rest were like covers and other things, so it was kind of disappointing, but she still sounded really good. But uh, it would have been really nice. En Vogue, I loved En Vogue. I still have one of their albums. Uh, but yeah, she only sang one of the songs that they were known for from Heart. Everything else was like covers and then some original songs that nobody knew. George Michael. Bruce Hornsby. Excel. Okay. So, we got Perfect Gentleman. Living Color. Guar. Those guys I've heard are just crazy. Concerts I heard are nuts. Starship, EPMD. Another Janet Jackson. Run DMC. Very cool. Oh, now that's a good one. Great. The Party. The Party again. All right. Well, guys, one of two things is going to happen. I'm either going to finish opening all of these in the next five minutes, or we just will call it good, because... That's how long my videos, Blues Travelers. Oh, cool. That's how long these videos of mine can last. So, another vanilla. Goo Goo Dolls? Seriously? Wow. I'm really surprised, actually. Man, that's before they were really anything. Honestly, really. That actually really surprises me. Uh, very cool, though. Huh. Yeah. So this is before they a boy named Goo and everything hit. So I'm actually really surprised they... They made that. That's that's cool, though. So for me, that's my uh, pleasant surprise, seeing, seeing that card in here. I definitely did not expect the Goo Goo Dolls to be a part of this. Okay. Another Jimmy Page. Lenny Kravitz. Love Lenny Kravitz. Are you going to go my way? It ain't over till it's over. Believe. Heaven help. Man, he had some good songs. Jody Watley. Kiss. Oh, boy. Enough is enough. Dude, you guys are killing me. The Smithereens, The Clash, Sanctuary. Like, honestly, I just... 
I don't even know. Like, would they even claim to be a member of that band nowadays? Like, would they? Would they? I'll be sure. Randy Rhodes. Dread Zeppelin. What? Crazy. <laughs> That's funny. Never heard of him. Um, Alias. Motorhead. Dread Zeppelin again. Vanilla Ice. Poco? Okay. Have any of you guys, did any of you ever rip any of this back in the day? You know, I, I chose not to. I mean, it wasn't anything, you know, I'm doing this more for nostalgia. And at the time, this would not have been nostalgic. It would have been in the moment. But uh, uh, did any of you guys ever open any of this? Or were you a little too shy? Just kidding. All right. Simple Minds. Okay. Alright, so it definitely, you know, has the look, the feel of the pro set football cards. It is a little different design than 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 the uh, the football cards were though. Um, another Janet. Fate's warning. Chromags again. Linear. Another dangerous toys. Okay. Whoa. Almost lost this one. Okay, another Eric Clapton and Bob Marley, a couple of legends. Uh, Eddie Money, Cher again. So yeah, we're seeing some of these over. Definitely. But this is a fun little product, and I'll you know I'll go ahead and rip uh, series two later. Uh, we, can, you guys, if you're interested, can check that out. I think it'll be a new set of. Hey, Billy Idol. A new set of musicians, Paula Abdul. But uh, yeah, you can go ahead and check that out at a later date. Uh, I also, for those of you who are new to the channel and just kind of checking that out, if you're if you're interested in uh, sports cards at all, I uh, that's my my primary focus. A little bit of basketball cards, but mostly uh, football cards. George Michael, another Madonna. And uh, so, yeah, you're uh, welcome to check those out if you're interested. Um, please click like and subscribe if you enjoy videos like this. Voivod. Doro. Never heard of her. Another Madonna. George Michael again. Information Society. Lionel Richie. Billy Idol. Extreme. So Extreme had the song More Than Words, which was pretty big for a while. And I think he joined uh, Van Halen for one album, one of the singers there. Anyway, yeah, so uh, Boogie Down Productions, Karen White, The Go-Go's, Lionel Richie. So we're seeing a couple new cards here. This will be, my, I think, my last pack before my uh, video runs out. So you won't get to see the last two, which I know is probably going to break all your hearts. But uh, this will be our, uh, our final one. Basha Nelson. Another MC Hammer, Tiffany, Hall & Oates, Janet Jackson, Bad English, and Led Zeppelin. Okay, so again, thank you very much for watching, you guys. I appreciate the, the support, and uh, I'll be back with uh, more videos in the near future. And until then, uh, enjoy your day. Thanks for watching, and uh, everybody take care. And we'll just wrap up with uh, these last couple cards. LL Cool J. Very nice. Thanks, guys. Take care.